welcome this is the energy vibration of reading for all the um the general energy vibration reading for the month of august 2017 and i want to say to each and every person out there thank you for being here thank you for being back this is a wonderful wonderful positive energy vibration that is coming in and this is going to be performly wonderful i'm trying to get the positive the right lightning okay um as we look at the month of august the month of august is going to be the month of uh, the hermit and whenever the energy of the month of the hermit comes in it is a time when we are all trying to um, um connect with our inner wisdom so it's going to be a, a, a peaceful month a month where you're going to look to find inner peace within yourself you're going to look to connect with yourself you're going to try to find understanding it's a month of a lot of planets going in in and out of retrograde there will be two eclipses in the month of august there'll be one on the the 7th and one on the 21st so the uh, um, astrolog people and the universal people will be and this is what i'm saying to a lot of people out there the month of July 2017 was the change of the guards. And in this month of August 2017, you're going to see that also working. Whenever the hermit comes up, the hermit as the energy vibration that is going to carry Archangel Ragiel and all these angels, Uriel, Michael, that is going to help you to find the inner connection and the inner understanding of who you are so whatever is happening out there remember and have an understanding that change is about to take place the energy vibration of uh, us on this planet is about to um, change okay um, this month of um, July uh, August why am I still um, this month of August is going to be a performly um, uh, the change of the guard where the sense that we're going to start to understand that we're not alone on this planet and that there are also universal beams, the intergalactic beams uh, are coming in okay so your cosmic family are going to work with you from out the uh, behind the veils they're going to start to be present they're going to be start nudging you um, via your intuition so you are seeing that this month of August is going to be an extreme change of guards I've also changed up the energy vibration reading this is the general energy vibration reading I've always said to people please remember to listen to the general um, the general readings because there are going to be a lot of information that will be coming out it is a month of emotion but it's not really emotion it is the hermit the hermit is the, the the seeker of inner wisdom it's going to be a very positive month but it's going to be a month of inner um, looking within looking within is going to be the energy of this month whenever the energy of the hermit comes up um, we are going to connect with ourselves. we're going to try to understand who we are as a spiritual being on this planet why are we here what is the next step we need to do where are we and what is it that we need to start balancing off in our lives and by focusing on that and trying to get these balance in our life we're going to see like different things happening to us okay um there are different ways that um, I was thinking of uh, doing um, this um, energy vibration reading because this is the general reading. We have five weeks in this month. It's going to be five extremely long weeks. And as I'm calling up on my angels and guides, the international intergalactic beings and all um, the beams to come in to give the message for the month of August because it's going to be one of a spiritual month but one of a month that you are going to be seeking inner wisdom and understanding to find out who exactly you are and why are you here what is your next energy what is the next thing to do as we look at the weeks we have the first week which is an uh, um and uh the energy vibration of um the hurt and the second week we have the energy vibration of water <clears throat> in the third week we have the energy vibration of uh, um, the tower which is fire 
in the fourth week we have the energy vibration of justice justice seems to be coming up a lot in this uh, month of in this year of 2017 and then we have the energy of the moon which is another water so we have two water um, um, we have all the four elements we have earth water fire and the sword energy and we have another water so this month is really going to be a month of um, emotional situation which will be happy it's going to be five long weeks people brace yourself for this let's look at the first week to see what is going to happen in the first week and let's look and see what it's gonna be wonderful it's actually people going to be wonderful okay okay and please remember again um, this is the energy vibration reading um, that is going to affect uh, um, all of us and I'm using three decks um, because I'm I'm going to look at um, more energies because we have uh, we're working with the spirit guides the, um, the ascendant masters the gardeners the intergalactic and beings and also the cosmic families okay so let's look to see what would happen in the first week and the second week the third week oh my gosh <laughs> the fourth week and the fifth week okay I'm going to see how I'm um, I'm going to integrate all of these in the weeks okay um, we're gonna begin with the first week remember again yeah and I, I know I'm, I'm like a little bit yeah remember again the energy of the month is the hermit hermit is looking within connecting within it's it's working on you it's empowering who you are it's finding who you are so that is the energy of August as we look at the first week the first from the five weeks we have the energy vibration and this energy vibration is of a the temperance the temperance is an earth energy it's the Virgo woman look at the M the temperance as the Virgo woman or a man and this is someone who is bringing in balance but with this balance there is going to be so many things that is going to be affected because we also have him the energy the other energy that is coming in and you know we also have the Clive of Pentacles which is good okay so first we have the energy of the week which is uh, the energy of temperance and this energy of temperance what it is doing it is bringing certain aspects certain balance in your life and with this balance that it is bringing it is the kniver of the pentacles the kniver of the pentacles is a wonderful energy vibration because what is happening is that he is coming so um, most people especially the earth people in the first week is going to be a profoundly wonderful week because here is going to be a wonderful experience for each and every person if you are an earth sign a Virgo a Taurus or a Capricorn in the first week it's going to be a wonderful week for you whatever the situation is money will be coming to you express pressure of money the balance in your financial situation will be happening in the first week for you earth sign people so it's going to be an extremely wonderful week and starting the month off with balance especially in a spiritual month which you have a water energy and you're having the earth sign as balance in the first week of the month is going to be extremely extremely wonderful so here we are and for these people who are the ages of uh, um uh, uh, let's say uh, 18 to 21 it's going to be a positive week for you guys it's going to be extremely positive weeks for you guys okay and um, yes for the earth people in the first week uh, the energy of the world also comes up so 
the it's profoundly wonderful for you earth people in the first week because what we're having is that we're having balance uh, the 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 Virgo people are coming in to bring balance in the first week, and here we have also the energy of the knight, the Kniver, which is the knight of Pentacles. He is here, and he is letting you know for you art sign people whatever is happening, your own focus and energy of accepting anything in your life is going to be the energy of the world and this is a perform wonderful wonderful experience because what is happening is that the world is going to bring out so many wonderful energies that you are going to see that it's going to be the end of certain situation and a new beginning for you earth people so the first week a week is really for the earth people it's going to be a week of perform wonderful situation because your financial situation is going to be balanced and balanced in a positive way so for the earth people the first week congratulations whenever you begin a month with the energy of the world that mean look forward because in this month there is going to be positive positive things coming in so regardless of what is happening the rest of you zodiac sign the fire sign people it's going to be a good time for you guys too and whatever the energy of the world comes out it's going to affect each and every person but for the earth people it's going to be the first week is going to be your best best week as we look at the second week we have the energy of the lovers and it's really going to be a week of love because this is a general reading and in the second week there is going to be the energy of the lovers so whatsoever is happening a lot of a lot of new love is going to find each other and the energy of uh, love in a week because I haven't seen love coming up it's more of cleansing in this year and the energy of the love is coming up in the second week is just going to be profoundly wonderful and here it is definitely about love relationship because you have the two of cups and you can see how a lot of people in the second week so whether or not you are um, a water sign a Gemini or a cancer the so Gemini and the cancers are going to have a profoundly wonderful second week because if you're looking for love and you're a Gemini or a cancer this second week is going to be a week of love for you guys wonderful experience not only love but because the energy um, vibration of money comes up so in business connecting with business partner you're going to have the six of Pentacles and 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 this six of Pentacles is um, the expression of wonderful money coming in your life gifts of money coming in in your life wonderful experience where you are finding yourself uh, um, connecting to the right people the right partners to do business uh, right partner in your relationship right partners to study to you know connect with an organization on the work floor and that sort of a thing so it's going to be extremely extremely um, positive so no matter what is going on you're going to really see the excitement of love of uh, the second week of August is going to be a week where people are going to start finding their soulmate no matter what zodiac sign you are or people are going to find their soulmate but the Gemini's and the cancers is going to be a profoundly week where your twin flame and soulmates are going to come through and you're also going to find the right partners in business and love for the Gemini's and the cancers okay so this is this is this is this is wonderful this is extremely wonderful so um, positive positive energy positive feedbacks um, second week is good for the Gemini's and the cancer whatever you are doing whatever you're focusing on it's going to be positive um, if people out there are looking for a love relationship the second week is going to be an extremely perform good one as we look at the third week we have the energy of the tower which is a fire energy so the third week it's going to be the energy of a fire energy a fire fire whatever is has been blocking the fire sign people with money it's going to change okay whatever that has been affecting the fire sign people the aries um the the leos and the the, the sagittarians whatever that was affecting your um your money from flowing 
if you were in a stagnant situation where you weren't feeling yourself and you were in a stagnant situation in your life where you felt left out in the cold, it's going to be a positive endeavor. You have no reason to fear. Um, so for the third week for you fire people, it's going to be cleansing. For the rest of the zodiac energies and the Capricorns, and not only Capricorns, but for the Taurus and um, the um, Virgo, the Taurus and the Virgo people, whatever that is going on, you're going to see that whatever your financial situation is, whatever the blocks were in your financial situation for you, um, um, Earth sign people, the uh, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorns, it's going to be yield whatever it was it's going to be yield okay the other people that it's going to affect it is the energy of the cancers and um, the Pisces and the scorpion so this third week is going to affect the fire people which is there's going to be a cleansing for the fire people for the um, earth sign people your financial situation and whatever hardship you are going through is going to be yield and for the water sign people which is the cancers the Pisces and the scorpion you are going to see a profound um, and feel a profound cleansing and changing of the guards in the third week so this is going to affect the three signs which is the water the fire and the earth so think about um, who you are what needs to be cleansed what needs to be healed because in the third week the fire sign the earth sign and the um, Pisces the cra the cancers and the um, scorpion is going to have a cleansing a deep cleansing in the third week this is this is wonderful because it's affecting all three uh, three zodiac sign and this is going to be extremely wonderful as we move forward we are going to look at uh, the energy in the fourth week and we have the energy of justice and I love this justice I love this card deck it is uh, um, the unknown Torah and I love it because it's so special I find it to be one of the most beautiful thing and it is so special it has so many different energies that are coming in and here we are with justice the justice has the sword and the two cats you know the balancing of the scale but we have two cats this is so profoundly good because there's a diamond at the point of the sword and what is so good about it in this week the energy of the moon so this is going to be the justice of the universal angels and guides, the intergalactic beings, the cosmic families uh, will be bringing balance to certain situation. So for the, um, for the, um, the Aquarians, the Libras and the Gemini's, it's going to be a, a profoundly wonderful week. If you have any situation that you need to deal with, uh, um, it's going to work out in your favor but be careful if you have a legal situation against somebody who is of a water sign this could work out differently it is going to be a profound um, week where the intergalactic beams are going to be um, integrating with us and to get certain aspects and certain things clears up so we need to understand that you're going to start feeling and seeing these intergalactic beings and your cosmic family from out the spirit world and behind the veil coming forward to help you because once you start calling up in them they're going to be answering your your call be careful of what you ask for because whatever you ask for you will receive and sometimes it's not good for you so ask before if it's the will of the beams of this energy whatever is happening the fourth week is going to be a powerful psychic week it's going to be balancing you're going to be working especially um you uh, Aquarius and Gemini and Libra people you're going to be working with a spirit side so be aware of whatever that you're working on you air people whatever that has happened and it's all about you air people the air people whatever that has happened in your life whatever you have done to someone that was injustice whatever someone has done to you that was injustice is going to be balanced out okay for the people who are having situations 
um, legal matters or other situation with the energy of the cancers the cancers the cancer people be aware of this because this month the hermit is governed door the Pisces okay so it's a month that the Pisces are um, or you know governing in this month and working with a lot of people so whoever you are out there you hear people which is the Aquarius the Gemini's and the Libras be aware of what is happening because if you have done whatever you have done that was unjust to someone it's gonna come back it's gonna come back to you and justice is going to come down hard on you so whoever you are you are a cancer or whoever you are whatever you have done to a cancer person or whatever you have done to someone who is cancer is is most of a cancer be aware this is going to be a very psychic month for a lot of you air sign people the psychic is going to come up so you know hold tight because things are going to change last and final week we have the moon again so this month is a real month where you're going to be working with spirit guides and this moon is a very good moon because this is the moon that the universal angels is giving this message and is saying the intergalactic angels um the goddesses uh, the godinas the ascendant masters and so the last week they're going to be coming in stronger and stronger for a whole lot of people you're going to be connected with them it's as if you see the energy of the moon and how this is is really mystical mystical in the sense that they're going to be coming in and they're going to be connecting with you guys uh, the energy of the ten of cups in the last week is going to be good because once you're connecting with your spirit guides and that sort of a thing you have a total complete a family a connection of the cosmic family so the intergalactic and guys the cosmic family is going to be working in this week so open up yourself um, dreams a lot of people are going to be dreaming if you're a psychic and that sort of a thing your psychic is going to be extremely powerful and strong in the third in the last week the fifth week of August because this month is a month of spirituality it's a month of people connecting with themselves and, and guiding angels uh, and they're going to become in and you're going to be feeling um, you know like as if you're vibrating with such a high energy and a powerful energy because uh, the energy of love is here so again the effect of the, the Gemini's and the cancer people are going to uh, be affected in this month this last week in the month of August I'm loving this for you guys because I love when the intergalactic and um, families come in and you have the energy of the ten of cups because what they're doing is saying you're on the right part you're on the right track this is good this is where you're supposed to be they're leading you they're connecting you there's going to be a lot of um, soul connection a lot of soul connection but yet still there's going to be a lot of soulmate connection because at this time the portals and, and and people are calling up on their soulmates and their soulmates so the last week is a good week to connect it's going to be a week of connecting with soulmates and this is going to be powerful and wonderful so who is this week is going to affect um, mostly psychic people um, people who listen to their intuition people who works people who are looking for their soulmate their soul partner their twin flames the last week is going to be that week that is going to affect you for people who works with the spirit world and work with intergalactic and beams and all of that in the last week uh, they are going to be coming in extremely extremely strong and this is going to be wonderful so you know people um, it's about time that we all wake up on this planet and, and realize that we were never alone and we're always having um, these positive energies around us but never yet know what is happening okay what I'm gonna do is that um, I I'm going to take a vortex card for every week I've never um, done that before but but the guides and angels want me to do that but first I am going to do because the energy vibration is that we're leaving the Leos in August and then we are about to embark on the energies of uh, um, um, of the Virgo so <clears throat> this is um, going to be a perform wonderful August because it's a month of finding 
inner wisdom connecting so as we leave the Leos on the 22nd of August we're going to start in out with a Virgos on the 23rd of August so the the Leos are having the energy vibration of the Sun they are the Sun rules the Leos so in this month of uh, August, you're going to have the energy of the sun, new energy, new vibration. People are going to feel good. People are going to feel alive. And it is also the month, the last summer month in the year of 2017 for the people who are vibrating on this energy vibration because some other um, part of uh, um, the world, they are having winter. So remember, we're talking about the Western Zodiac. So here we look, and um, on the 23rd of August, we're changing to from August till September with the energy vibration of an earth element. So this is why I understand why the first um, week of the month where balance was bring in. So we have to deal with the sun and Mercury um, in this uh, in, in this month of August the Sun and Mercury and Mercury you know each and every person know that when Mercury go in retrograde it's it's just going to be really 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 what um, something else is going to happen so be aware of uh, who you are and your journeys that you're on so let's see what is going to happen for the people who the Sun people for the month of August let's see what is going to happen for the Sun pe people who were born in the day yeah the Gemini's are coming in yes I saw that and um, and Mars okay we're moving on now because the love energy for this month is going to be um, very strong the love energy is here in the second week and in the last week the, the last week is going to be a week of intergalactic and um, you're connecting with a spirit where you're connecting with um, behind the veil the people who works from behind the veil with you the people who protects you on the other side of the veil you'll be working with them we are moving on now to um, the second segment of the reading and that is a segment of to see the astrological effect and um, I'm using this deck I always use this deck because I find and for some reason I find that the Italians make the best um, tarot card I'm sorry <laughs> that is my thing I find Italians make the best tarot card and um, most of my decks because even the other decks that I'm using is from the same person and he is extremely good I, I, I love working with this deck okay for the people who were born in the month of August in the day that is from um, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. you are a Sun a person and you are going to be working with the Gemini's and the energies of the Gemini's people are coming up with a, in, in, in relationships so a lot of Gemini's will be connecting with their soulmate and uh, um, they will be working together with a lot of people who or you know it's going to affect um, the energy vibration of the lovers so a whole lot of love is coming in and a whole lot of people will be connecting with the Gemini's so you Leo's and you Virgos are going to be connecting with the Gemini's um, as we look at the planet that you Sun people will be working with it's going to be the planet of Mars and the planet of Mars is a changing of your career planet of Mars is the changing of your career but what is so beautiful is that Jupiter is also here which is a lucky planet so for you um, Leo's and Virgos who are working who were born um, in the, the time between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. in August this is just going to be powerful this just is going to be wonderful because you have uh, your career there's going to be a lot of career changes and with Mars and Jupiter Mars and Jupiter working together is that whatever you change if you're planning on changing your career whatever change you make in your career is going to be extremely extremely good okay it's going to be extremely extremely good okay there is something that I wanted to say because um oh my gosh it's so strange there's something I wanted to say because what is happening is that 
there is going to be a lot of stuff changing a lot of changes that would be happening and with these changing I want you to be aware of the changes because working with mercury okay um, the Leo's working with mercury that is that that is that is something else because you Leo's are governed they're the planet of the Sun the source of all things and in um, for the Leo's who are going to be working with mercury the Leo's you Leo's are going to speak from a sense of nobility and authority so you know this is what you're going to do you're going to find the inner strength within and you're going to speak from um you know speak from a sense of nobility and authority so for the Leo's who are going to be working with the energy of mercury because mercury is uh, is is uh, you know working in the sense that you will be connecting with um the people and the planet of mercury and this is going to change a lot of stuff because you're going to find the, the inner um wisdom to work with you you know changing your ego base to something which is much better but the sun people that are going to be working with Mars, let's see what is going to happen. What is the point of you working with Mars for you, sun people? Because for the sun people working with Mars, you are, you're going to find control over how your energy is spent, and this is good. So that's why the Gemini's come in. So for you, sun people that are working with Mars in this month, you're going to find the control over how you spend your energy how you release your energy turn it in towards goodwill not anger or revenge okay so for a, you leos uh, who and and for the people who were born in the day the sun people what is going to happen is that you are going to find control of how you spend and send out your energy and you're going to turn it towards goodwill not hunger and not revenge because I know some Leos are very revengeful I know some Virgos can be very revengeful but you're going to learn this in this month of um, August uh, how you're going to dedicate your energy and how you're going to, uh, to use it in a way you're going to use it in a way how you're going to spend your energy and turn it in goodwill and not anger and revenge okay Let's look and see what is going to happen for the people who will be working with Jupiter. The sun people who will be working with Jupiter. The heaven smiles on your every endeavor now. Take advantage of this time of great opportunity. So this is what I'm always saying to people. Whenever the planet of Jupiter comes around in your birth chart, and this is what you'll be working with, is that the sun as a person that was born in August and you were born between the hours of 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. and Jupiter is working with you in this month the heavens are going to smile on you every endeavor that you start now is going to be a success take advantage of this time of great opportunities so it is going to be performly performly wonderful and performly good for you sun people okay so again I will show you if you're a sun sign you'll be working for the sun sign people you'll be working with the Gemini's you'll be working with Mars and you will be working with Jupiter so this is going to be wonderful so this is going to be a wonderful perform thing as we go forward we're looking at the energy vibration for the lunar energies and to see what exactly is happening with the lunar energies this is a profoundly wonderful time let's see what is going to happen for the people who were born in the night in this month of August let's see what is going to happen you have to deal with the scorpions you have to deal with Neptune and you have to deal with Uranus oh my word 
So the lunar people are the people that was born between the hours of 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. in the morning. So if you were born in August, so from the 1st of August and, and, until the um, 31st of August, and you were born in the night between the hours of 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. in the morning, you are going to be working with the scorpions. And this is going to be something else because the scorpions like to release all and let you see all of your enemies. The scorpions like to release and let you see all of your enemies. And this, I love the scorpion. I like working with the scorpions because they really release and let you see who your enemies are. And I'm going to see what the effect is upon you guys with a scorpion because whenever people are working with a scorpion they they show you um your enemies who your enemies are because sometimes you're not aware of the people who are not working against you but ag with you but against you and in this uh, section you're going to see the planet of you um neptune and uranus neptune neptune is yeah the god of the sea and that's why the energy of the cans the scorpions come true because Neptune is the god of the sea invites us to dive deeper deeper in and bring up treasures from the weary deep so it is the month of the hermit and this I can understand because whenever Neptune shows up um, to help you it is and uh, is Neptunian whenever he comes up to help you so god is neptarian that means he wants you to go deeper it's the oscar and um it is the influence carrying us into the ocean rooms of visions and dream and this is why the energy of this month is going to be the hermit okay it takes you beyond the extremes okay so it, it lets you go deeper to look at certain aspect and working with the scorpion is that is the reason why because the scorpions are the scorpions always let you see the unseen the scorpions always always I love them they always let you see the unseen and whenever they're smart they're really smart they look beyond the veil they open up the Pandora box and they open up and they look between the lines and they show you okay all right we're looking at what Neptune's the the lunar people the the moon people what effect Neptune is going to bring in your life and this is a time of great psychic sensitivity for you trust your intuition and follow its guidance okay so what Neptune is going to do for you moon people it wants you to bring and to use the time this is going to be a profound powerful time of psychics um, um, sensitivity for you and trust your intuition and follow it you follow your guidance through and by doing this you are going to see how profoundly how things around you are going to change okay because we need each and every person on this planet needs to um, awaken their psychic and be aware of the angels and guides that are working beyond the intergalactic beams and the cosmic beams okay and that was for um, Neptune and now we're going to look at uh, Uranus and what does you moon people are going to work on in this month with Uranus one person um, lunacy is another person genuinely okay so one person lunatic yeah I, um, I'm not sure if a lot of people know about this but it's very funny um, one person lunatic <laughs> or lunatic is uh, someone else's genuine uh, genius okay it's like there is a thin line between love and hate so one person um, lunatic who think that you know is so as uh, they thought that thing there was a lunatic uh, Nostradamus but he wasn't he was actually a very smart psychic man and um, never doubt your own um, uh, perception contribution to the world okay so 
I guess most of my friends, uh, <laughs> I am the, the poor most example of this because I think most of my friends and people who knew me wasn't aware that I was so psychic intuition and uh, um, connect so much with the astrologue and, and, and the spirit world. So uh, um, my um, lunatic self uh, um, has made a whole new um, door open for me so that is an example because people weren't ex uh, expecting that I, I wasn't even expecting that I would be doing this but um, this is my divine purpose and um, so what I'm saying is that the lunatic because <laughs> all people always I remember when I started my channel and you know it was me being who I was me being um, I was being the person who I think and I should stand up and do something and help to change the energy vibration. And it was seen as my friends as you're being crazy, but I have become a genius because of my craziness, what I thought, but I really had it in my soul that I needed to do something. I love the astrologue. I love the signs. I love the star. I love the planets. I, I knew that this was it. So I, I was just being very crazy, but yet still it has bring me to the place of, uh, um, genuine, um, genuine, you know, help and integrity because of who I am. So this is what it is going to teach you to do because this planet Uranus is the, um, the ruler of, um, the Aquarians. So it's going to be a profoundly psychic, um, month for the month of August. You can all see it working out here. And um, for the sun people, it's going to be wonderful because, um, you're working with Mars and Mars is like throwing and tearing out what no longer serve you. And for the rest, you are working with Jupiter for the sun people. For the um, the moon people, you're working with Neptune and Uranus. And this is going to be extremely positive for a lot of people. I am only going to t um, draw one card um, from the um, Vortex um, because um, we have gone so many minutes and what does the vortex have for us and it says a vibration of behaviors add to the planet well-being and this is so correctly I could have never um, pull another card one um, variable behavior add to the planet's well-being and this is it I can understand that universal angels are here because they are bringing out the correct energy vibration that I should give in this reading and it says when you remember that nothing can come into your existence without your vibrational invitation of it and this is what a lot of people do not understand they're always saying I'm always attracting these people yes because your vibrational invitation you vibrate the invitation to attract these negative people and that is why and when you remember that the the various behaviors of others had to the balance and the well-being of your planet even if they offer behavior that you do not approve of and that is true because I attract some people and I think oh my god I you know well you know and their behavior is just totally the opposite of mine or you know because I tend to attract jealous people negative people and you know I don't see why people should be jealous and negative because what is happening is that we all were born with a gift and the unwanted behavior and what we don't want unless you give your attention to it you become more willing to allow others to live as they choose okay so this is what I've always said I will give the message but you don't have to listen to my messages I give the messages and you choose what you think vibrates with you this has been a wonderful um, and the month of August is going to bring you to a place of uh, profound changes in each and every person life it is going to be a month of the hermit so it's a water month it's an emotional month it's inner conflicts 
all of that will be looked at all of that will be touched blessings are coming in but this is in the form of you know whatever situation that is happening around you I can only say to you um, as beams and species on this planet uh, the only thing you can do is to vibrate the energy of love so you attract also the energy of love it is not one of the easiest thing to do but we all need to try to do that and I want to say namaste until um, next month